Hi, this is Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, which has been testing vitamins and healthy foods since 1999. And I'm here to talk about zinc supplements and zinc lozenges. A lot of people have been asking about zinc lately, especially in terms of immunity. So we just put out a report where we've tested all these products, um, compared them, looked at prices, uh, and really came up with our top picks. But I want to give you kind of an overview of what you need to know about zinc uh, whether you need it, how to use it, what to take. Um, first of all, think about zinc two different ways. One is it's an essential mineral, but also it can work uh, directly on your throat uh, against viruses. So if you are developing a cold, it actually can help shorten the duration and severity of a cold with a lozenge where you want to keep that throat coated with zinc. Um, otherwise, you want to absorb that zinc so it can... Uh, kind of do its magic around your body. It is an essential mineral. And many people are actually somewhat deficient in zinc, particularly vegetarians, people who are taking antacids, or people on certain blood pressure uh, lowering medications. Um, for those people, you want to be thinking about the supplements. They do come as liquids or quick dissolving tablets or capsules and other types of pills. Um, the liquids actually can taste pretty awful. Um, if you're taking kind of a highly concentrated zinc, you can dilute it and, and kind of reduce that taste. Otherwise, if you can take a pill, take a pill. Um, these tend to have roughly about 20, 30, 40 uh, milligrams of zinc per, uh, per pill. People who are really deficient in zinc uh, can have symptoms such as diarrhea. Um, there's an increased risk of recurrence of canker sores hair loss, um, but most people with mild deficiency may not experience those types of symptoms. A study was done in France where older people who were borderline deficient in zinc actually were taking 30 milligrams per day of zinc, and that actually reduced the uh, risk of respiratory infection. So um, again, if, if you are low in zinc, this is a good time to make sure you're getting enough. You may not need to take a supplement. You may just want to uh, take a multivitamin or just uh, boost your intake from foods such as meats, uh, beans, um, uh, nuts. Um, meats are really the most, especially organ meats are the most concentrated forms. Oysters are particularly high in zinc. Uh, you need to get about 10 milligrams of zinc per day. It, it varies up and down a little depending on gender and age. Women uh, who are pregnant or lactating need about 14, 13, 14 milligrams. Kids need less. Um, the supplements typically have 20, 30, 40 uh, milligrams, and they're really there to boost you up uh, if you're deficient in zinc. You don't want to take zinc for too long because if you take more than 40 milligrams per day, you're actually reducing your ability to absorb copper. And if you do that for too long, really many weeks, months, uh, you will become copper deficient and that will hurt your, uh, your immunity, basically. So you don't want to hurt yourself by taking too much zinc. Um, with the lozenges, you're most likely to take a lot of zinc because you're supposed to be taking these uh, every two to three hours, keeping your throat coated with that zinc. And you're taking anywhere from about 9 to 23 milligrams uh, per lozenge. Um, so you can see how you can get to over 100 per day. That's okay, again, for a short period of time, a week, two at the most. But when you take zinc as a supplement and you want to absorb it, um, you don't want to take it with dairy food. Um, it can inhibit absorption. Don't take it with high doses of magnesium or calcium. Um, that can also inhibit absorption. Don't take it with fiber. Um, and certain other uh, plant-based foods can also interfere. So it's better to take it kind of away from a meal. Um, you can take it with water. Uh, if you have any questions about zinc, uh, feel free to post them here. Certainly, I recommend that you read our report. It is for our subscribers, but it, Subscription gives you access to all of our reports on all types of supplements. If you just want um, kind of the daily requirement for zinc, you want to make sure you're getting enough, especially if you're, if you're on an antacid um, or, 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 as I mentioned, blood pressure and lowering medication, you might want to be taking zinc at least from a multivitamin every day where you're getting kind of the recommended daily uh, allowance of zinc. These, again, are really meant if you need to boost yourself up from a lower level. Again, this is Dr. Todd Cooperman with ConsumerLab.com, and thanks for your time.